Folks, uh, I want to share some things uh, concerning stuttering, stammering, speech problems. And from the uh, from uh, the age of two to about 2003, when I was 30 years old, I uh, used to stutter a lot. Especially in my teenage days, I was a severe stutterer. I'm t and I feel people's pain who still stutter. And uh, I mean, I'm talking like, um, as, and people who know me know know that. People close to me know how badly I used to stutter. Uh, I'm talking things like, you know, uh, someone would ask me my name, especially at age 14 or whatever. I couldn't say my name, it would not come out, you know, etc., etc. Um, I went to various places. I, I, I had a good childhood, but the only thing that would make me upset, very upset, was my stuttering. So because of that, my childhood or teenage days were not as nice as they appeared to others. Stuttering is a very bad thing. It's, you feel like you're you are in a prison. Um, Speech-wise, you know, people who don't stutter, who are born fluent, take, take, normally take their speech for granted. But I'm telling you, if you stutter, I would envy also, I would envy lots of people in my heart. I would say, look at that that guy, whatever he can speak, he can speak fluently. Uh, anyways, to make a long story short, I went to all sorts of. Uh, I tried to, uh, you know, fix my stuttering. Uh, for example, '91 when I moved to Sweden. I, for two nights, went, I flew to Berlin to meet Dr. Schwartz. He was at the time a very a well known. He, he wrote two books, You Can Stop Stuttering and Stutter No More. Um, he basically says in stuttering, he says in You Can Stop Stuttering, it's not, a, it's not a book on how to stop stuttering, but we can help you reduce and maybe you can become fluent. I did all sorts of things. He said, even airflow technique, I did that, didn't work. I even said, he even said, go to your bathroom, shut, you know lie in a hot tub, relax your body, and hopefully things will, anyways, that didn't work in the end of the day. I had acupuncture done to me, done to me at, at a very young age, maybe late 80s, you know, when you were the Chinese therapy, when they put needles in your head, all sorts of things. I went to a fake uh, mullah or sapir, whatever, in Abu Dhabi, two of them, and they must have charged my parents uh, a good amount of money. Uh, I was with them for about uh, three months, and they said, "Don't worry. After three months, you'll be you'll be all fluent." It did not work, you know. Uh, they would I would go there every day. They would they would, they were they were fake. I hate to say that, but that's the, because the result speaks for itself. What else was there? Um, hmm, let me remember. Yes, I be honest with you. Uh, 1990, when I st initially started drinking alcohol, uh, and that's a fake escape. I stopped stuttering after three drinks. I'll be honest, but it's not the answer. Don't don't take don't take me wrong. It's not the answer. You might escape stuttering for maybe two hours, and then then you're back to yourself. So alcohol, with, without a doubt, is not the answer. Anyways, to make a long story short, how did I get cured? Now, folks, this is the God's honest truth. It happened to me. May it always remain. May I, may I have no relapse? God forbid. Allah Taala, God fix my speech. There's just no answer. And after 2003. Inshallah, I really believe it was my mother's prayers, my father, my, my late mother, my late father, Adan by my elder brother. They, they all prayed for me, and I'm sure many other people must have. And I want to just, uh, God has fixed my speech. May it always remain. Believe me, uh, stuttering doesn't go away. For many people, I know someone. I won't, I won't name him. He works in, uh, he works in Islamabad. He's about 65. Maybe he still stutters. I don't want to name his name. I'm just for example. So may it always remain, may I have not relapsed, I mean, and I'll shut this uh, video by saying, Prophet Moses stuttered. For, for those of you who don't know, Prophet Moses stuttered and he prayed to Allah. Of course, he was he was a prophet, he was on holy mission. He prayed to Allah, it's in the Holy Quran and, and the Bible. I'll give you the, the chapter name. And uh, uh, Moses, Hazrat Musa prayed to Allah, you know, he's going, if, that please remove the impediment from my speech so people can understand what I say. And, and Allah says, granted is thy prayer, O Moses. And this is in Surah, I have right, written here, Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 25 to 36. Let me repeat that. Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 25 to 36. And in, in the Bible, it's Exodus. It must be the Old uh, Testament. Chapter 10, sorry, it just says Exodus 10 to 16. So this is the only, this is the only way out. That's what I, that was, was my experience. 
And uh, in the Holy Quran, he says, Rabbi Shrahli Vaseli, it's a prayer like that, which means, uh, Dear Allah, remove the impediment from my speech so they understand what I say. So, folks, I'm not trying, I'm not trying, this is another reason why I feel so much for religion. By the grace of God, this Allah Ta'ala, this is the only answer. I don't think stuttering can go away otherwise. I went, I tried my level best, but by the grace of God. So my advice to people who stutter is that please have faith in God. Uh, only Allah knows, God knows what, what, what prayer is accepted or not. But have more faith in God and don't, you know, and that's the only answer which can inshallah cure your, of your stuttering. I hope this is for real and I'm not trying to promote religion unnecessarily. I'm just saying. Thank you, all the best, and all the best to all people who stutter. I feel your pain. I've been there. May I never, may it never return to me. God bless you all, and thank you.